I guess trapezium rule. So form a sheet and put the trapezium rule. And what do we have? We got four strips and so each of width 1.5. So I'm going to have to go from x naught. It's one, two, three, and x four. And my x values. Well, the first one it starts with four. And it goes up by one and a half, so that'll be five, five, seven, eight point five, ten. Just check it gets to ten. Yep, and that's four strips. And the y value, well, I know the y value equals root of two x minus one. So two times four is eight, minus one is seven, so that'll be root seven. Uh, two five and a halves are eleven. Take away one, that'll be root ten. Next one will be root thirteen. Next one will be root 16. That's 4, but I can put root 16. And the next one is root 19. And now, having done that, I just have to put it into the formula. So the area is approximately equal to a half times the h is the width. So that's 1.5. And then of, I need y naught, the first and the last. So that's root 7 plus root 19. And then I need two lots of everything else. So that's root 10 plus root 13 plus root 16. And that just means I have to plug it into calculator. And that equals 21.45. So that's three significant figures. So that equals 21.4 to three significant figures. Part 2. Explain how the Trapezium Rule can be used to attain a more accurate estimate. Well, it's fairly obviously use more strips or narrower strips. But in essence, they mean the same thing. And that's question 2 done.